What's up, everybody? King of Fomo here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram. That's t.me slash King of Fomo 1, as well as my TikTok channel listed right there on the screen. So today we're going to be talking about the Crow token. This is going to be the first token that I'm going to cover over on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, if you guys are unaware about how you're actually accessing this token, then make sure you watch the last video that I made on just a tutorial on how to get started on PancakeSwap and the Binance Smart Chain. It's a little bit different than just using your MetaMask wallet immediately through and through. But nonetheless, just a quick side note, I don't think that the Binance Smart Chain or uh, PancakeSwap is going anywhere anytime soon. I think that this is probably still the beginning phases because to be honest, PancakeSwap and the Binance Smart Chain have been in development for quite a long time. So they're some of the most fleshed out systems out there, fleshed out layer two solutions for Ethereum. Now, Ethereum definitely needs a layer two to take over. And there's plenty of other you know, uh, coins and companies trying to take the mantle um, away from Uniswap and be the second layer solution available. Um, and I think that as long as the price of Ethereum continues to stay at where it is right now, uh, the gas fees will not be fixed. So it's just not viable to do trades on the Ethereum network with Uniswap the way that it is. Um, so Binance has the most adoption, the most liquidity, and the most volume right now. And the, the company or coin that has those three things is going to be the one that takes the top spot and takes the um, cake in terms of um, the majority of people being on it. So with all that being said, um, you know, I think that PancakeSwap and, and Binance Smart Chain is here to stay unless something really somehow takes the mantle from it in terms of volume, uh, liquidity, and um, the people interest overall. But, but this video is supposed to be about Crow Token, so let's get straight to Crow Token. Uh, so there's definitely some major positives and some pretty big negatives with a Crow Token. It's not as special as I would like it to be, uh, but nonetheless, let's get straight into it and talk about what it is. Uh, first thing you'll notice that it, it is that it is a coin that's worth $1,278. It is up 500%, but I mean, you guys have to understand simple math. I mean, the all-time low is not, was uh, nine days ago at $32, and there's only a grand total of 467 coins right now. I think there's a grand total of 1,400 that can ever be minted. Um, so it's a really, it's the smallest supply I've pretty much ever seen with the exception of some other meme tokens. Um, so this price is justifiable and can go significantly higher. You look at how YFI has a supply of 32,000, and that is a coin that's worth $40,000 per coin. Potential is there. Um, now, I'm saying potential is there with some with an asterisk because Wi-Fi does a lot more things than what Crow Token does. But let's just take a look at the Crow Token website right now. This is what it looks like. Again, you connect your Binance Smart Chain Network into this website, and you can go over to the Crow right here, and you can stake some liquidity pool tokens. It doesn't have to be Crow liquidity pool tokens. You can get Binance BTC liquidity pool tokens, a lot of different types here. And you can see the APYs for these are extremely high right now. These will definitely be lower by the time you're watching this video uh so keep that in mind also keep in mind like i tried to do this in the ethereum blockchain for the past week um and unsuccessfully and for, like they do have problems uh, with bt finance it was another staking coin and it had it, it had a hack in it it had been hacked uh, there was an exploit in it so these things do come with risk for sure um, even if they're audited they have risk especially if you're putting liquidity pool tokens there's risk of draining um, in some type of way um, but if you are <laughs> risk averse if you can handle that um, you might be able to get a piece of this uh, four thousand percent apy on top of that you're also earning these crow tokens which are uh, have the potential to be very, very expensive with how low the supply is overall. Um, if you don't want to go uh, deep into liquidity pool, because I mean, you, you're still going to run into impermanent loss with this uh, pancake swap as well. If you don't want to run into uh, impermanent loss, then you can also just go to the staking section right here. You can stake Crow um, directly. You can get talons. I haven't really looked at talons too much, uh, but you can get talons. This will help you avoid impermanent loss, and it still has a really high APY, and you're getting some of these newer tokens as well. And then soon they're going to have talon pools, so I'm assuming that if Crow does take off, um, then this is going to be a pretty lucrative coin itself uh, if it has other pools available for Talon. Um, now, positives and negatives. If we go over to the Medium article, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, and we're going to take a look at... Uh, 
their roadmap. So for their roadmap, there's not really that much stuff that's super impressive to me here. They're doing NFTs. I do not like NFTs. I haven't liked NFTs for a long time. But some people, that's their thing. Uh, and that's really kind of all I can find out about what they're doing recently. They, they have their staking vault available. Um, they have their farming available. They have their audit done. Um, but we all know how much audits mean with what happened with BT Finance. Not not too much. Uh, but nonetheless, all those things are done. Um, they will be doing some other things later, a full site rebrand, a vault, and some voting. Nothing really that sticks out to me that says, wow, this thing should is going to be worth billions and billions of dollars later. Um, so that's kind of the one negative is the roadmap is a little lackluster in my opinion, which uh, might not justify a higher price um, in the long run. Uh, but nonetheless, that is the Crow token. I wanted to give you guys an update and just you know, in, uh, introduction to a coin on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, high volatility though, like I said, this is up 500%. So if you're going to purchase into here and like I said, if the uh, the roadmap is that lackluster and people just fall off of it, if there's some sort of exploit, then you're looking at a 90% loss for sure uh, because of how much it's risen in the past couple days and, um, you know... <laughs> the pullback can be pretty darn hard. Uh, but nonetheless, like I said, I'm going to be definitely checking out other staking coins um, over here on the Binance Smart Chain. If you guys have anything, please leave them in the comments section down below. Leave them in the Telegram chat. I'll be more than happy to look. I'm, like, I'm definitely going to be looking way closer at Binance Smart Chain coins compared to Ethereum anything because, like, like I said, it's just in, it's impossible to really justify buying small amounts in ethereum right now and uh it's it's a whole different game when you're when you're working with large numbers which which is what's something you have to do in ethereum but that's everything for today guys check out crow for yourself check out the binance smart chain for yourself look at my previous video if you haven't yet catch you guys in the next video peace out